Salutations, everyone, and thank you for downloading the fifth episode of DiabeticRadio.com. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to extract the remainder insulin from your insulin pen. And you would want to do this um, for uh, two main reasons. One, it can save you a lot of money over time because you get, um, well, I'm assuming most uh, manufacturers make pens uh, five in a box. And collectively, I've been able to extract at least 75 insulin, um, it's 75 units of insulin uh, per box. And to me, that's a lot. The second reason why you would want to do this is because pens can and do break. And if you're on your last insulin pen, and if the doctor is nowhere to be reached, you can't get to a pharmacist, and or you call a manufacturer and you have to wait a day or two to get a new pen, by that time, your sugars are creeping up and up and up to dangerous levels. Um, or you starve yourself trying to keep your sugars at bay until you can get your uh, insulin. So you wouldn't want to do that unnecessarily. So this is a second option. So I want to remind everyone also that I am not a medical professional in, in any way, shape, or form. These are just things that I've learned in my life that, that's helped me um, in my diabetes. So uh, let's get started. The first thing you want to do as normal is you take an alcohol swab. Oh, uh, I should talk about this. Um, you're going to need a uh, syringe, of course. I recommend BDs, although this is not a BD. Um, my pharmacist ran out of BDs. Um, I personally think that they're one of the best um, needles in the market. You would want 8 millimeter, um, 8 millimeter 31 gauge, um, which is the smallest uh, that you're going to find for a syringe. And you would want it half cc. Um, and the reason why you would want it half cc um, is because the numbers are further spaced. So if you have vision problems, uh, it's a lot easier to see the dosages that you know you're uh, giving yourself. Um, any more cc's than that, like one, one and a half, um, it's usually for um, uh, people who. Uh, inject larger doses of insulin. So what you want to do is that you take your alcohol as usual, you open your pen, you wipe your alcohol, clean it up. Now um, you're not supposed to blow on it but what I do like to do is wave it and the reason why I like to wave it is I want to make sure that there's no um, alcohol residue because sometimes if it's still there it stings. So you wouldn't want that. You uh, take your needle, prepare, pull it out, pull out the bottom part. What I like to do is, is hold the needle like a cigarette with uh, two fingers holding it like this. And then what I like to do is to take my thumb and my, uh, what is this, third finger and use that to uh, to pull down or extract the insulin um, out of the pen. Now because this is a very thin needle you want to make sure that um, you're very careful putting it in otherwise uh, you could uh, bend the needle quite easily. Uh, so you make sure that it's straight up you carefully insert the uh, the needle into the pen. You take your thumb and your third finger and you pull the insulin down and as you, you'll see as I'm doing that the plunger will come down along with it. Okay. Now I recommend that you take about a, a, a unit or two extra than the dose that you want to give yourself. Um, and the reason why you would want to do that is uh, so that you can just pop out the, uh, the extra air. Now, one important thing that you, that you must know, I'm not going to get into um, 
how the pen is made because I don't want to get into any copyright issues with Nova Log. But it's important that you only use the syringe when either you're almost finished with the insulin or when the pen is broken. Okay? Always do that. Once you use the needle with your pen, you continue using that uh, a syringe every time. And the reason is because that the way that this is set up, it knows how much insulin that you have left each time you use it. So if you use a syringe first and you go back, you can actually misdose yourself and not even know it. So it's very important that once you use, if you're using the syringe because you've discovered that your pen broke, you have to continue using the syringe until your um, pen has uh, completely um, finished. So thanks for watching and um, see you next time. Bye bye.